Patrician. Hey, you get you. Don't Patrician eighty four here, and here we are. I am now profiling my last past format dark magician deck profile. My hat format dark magic strike deck. So you've seen the April two thousand and six variants, but this is what how I played the same deck uh, back in. Uh, hat format. Um, it was only for a brief while though because um, obviously throughout that year I was, I was celebrating 10 years since I started playing Dark Magician in a deck and um, I was playing all, well almost all the different incarnations in tournaments. Uh, Dark Magic Lockdown was a big nope but yeah, Dark Magic Strike is one of my favourite variants. Uh, so it's not as strong as the April 2006 version, but still good enough for what it was. So yeah, I'll just show you how I ran it. So, as usual, I'm playing two copies of Dark Magician. So I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. <laughs> uh, then the other main cards, three copies of Dark Magic Strike. I love how in the Gauntlet Challenge I didn't see this card at all. Um, I saw a single copy of Dark Magician but I didn't see this card. Um, which is really weird but even then it would have been rendered useless by Kaiku. Uh, uh, such a struggle. So I didn't really get to show what the deck could do. Um, never mind, eh? And then three copies of DD Scout playing. And for other monsters, two copies of Dark Greffa. Um, three copies of Armageddon Knight. Three copies of Mystic Tomato, two copies of Spirit Reaper, and of course Dark Arm Dragon. Because um, yeah, again, it's a dark deck. It makes sense to play it in here. Um, so yeah, that's it for the monsters. On with the spells. So for spells. I'm playing a single copy of Dark Magic Attack, um, a single copy of Thousand Knives, um, and yeah, that is a Champak Common, Allure of Darkness, Creeping Darkness, um, just wonder if maybe I should play more than one copy of it. Uh, so it's basically a rotor. Um, but for level 4 dark monsters, and I have to banish two darks from the grave to do it. And then, Rota, two copies of Dance Dance Revolution, <laughs> uh, Burial from a Different Dimension, Dark Hole. Uh, what's that even from anyway? Oh, a Legendary Duelist set. Foolish Burial. See, this would have been nice to have back in 2006. And finally, three copies of MST. Um, so yeah, that's it for spells on with the traps. Um, starting with two copies of Escape from the Dark Dimension, two copies of Mirror Force, two copies of Call of the Haunted, and two copies of Fiendish Chain. Yeah, that's it for the main deck. On with the extra deck. Um, so it's all Xyzes. So I've got Utopia, Comics Hero King Arthur, because I thought, why not? Um, Strike Ninja, Dark Greffer, and Armageddon Knight are level 4 warriors, so I thought I might as well. Um, I'm also playing Blade Armor Ninja, uh, which also needs two level 4 warriors. Honor Arc, Heroic Champion Excalibur, 
which, uh, yes, you've guessed it, uh, needs two level 4 warriors. An Evil Swarm Exciton Knight, Digusto Emerald, uh, so that's it for all the rank 4s. Now I do have some rank 3s in case I want to overlay two copies of Spirit Reaper, and that is number 17, Leviathan Dragon, Levia the Sea Dragon, and Wind Up Zen Mines. And the rest are all rank 2s, so I've got Shining Elf, number 65 Gin Buster, which is just <laughs> incredible. Um, thought this might make some cool, uh, might be a cool tech, um, have some more monster effect negation just by overlaying two scout planes. Um, two copies of Gachi Gachi. Um, so yeah, why not bring in a card from 2011? And finally, number 96, Dark Mist. Um, this is the hardest rank 2 to bring out because it needs three level 2 monsters. And of course, literally the only way I can bring this out is if I overlay um, all three scout planes. Um, but I only ever did it once, and that was during Dark Magician Month back in 2012 when I had this same deck pretty much. Um, yeah, I remember using it against uh, Derek's Black Wings. In fact, I was actually trying to bring out Obelisk the Tormentor, which I was running, and I was trying to do to him what he did to me back in 2009, which was uh, play it in his black wings and finish me off with it, but I never got the chance to do it. Um, also in that same duel, um, <clears throat> you know, in the Dark Magician Month one, I made the mistake of activating Dark Mist more than once. Um, yeah, I assumed that its effect could be used multiple times, but in actuality, um, Uh, I think it's a once per turn effect, um, or is it, um, once per battle, so I'm just reading it again, as you can appreciate it's been a while since I've seen Dark Mist, um, or actually used the card, uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know, maybe I can do it multiple times per turn. Um, I don't know, the wording's confusing. Um, but yeah, regardless, um, that's it for the profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, someone's revving it up outside. Who the hell's doing it at this time of night? Um, yeah, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't subbed already. Um, now, this is um, a past format deck that I am actually going to keep. Um, even though it's not a pure Dark Magician build, I do like Dark Magic Strike. It's a lot of fun, even though um, the 8 Pro 6 version is better. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to play in hat format tournaments because there's because uh, obviously too many bullshit decks would be played um, you know like mermails, boojins, evil swarms uh, trap tricks, hat uh, and none of those are fun to play against um, but I will happily um, play some hat for casual hat format games with this deck. Um, or play against other hat format decks in casual play, whether it's with this one or any of my other past format decks. Mi uh, have a mixed uh, format game. So yeah, that is it. That completes the lineup of past format decks. Hope you guys have enjoyed. 
Um, there are a couple of current format deck profiles that I need to do. Uh, Crystal Beasts, which were requested, and I need to do an update on my Cyburst deck. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but again, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.